A local group is making a difference on the far east side, keeping young men out of trouble and grooming them for jobs. As RTV 6's Cameron Riddle reports, their efforts are changing lives one basketball game at a time. It's no secret. The streets on Indy's east side can be tough, and what happens out here is not always good news. But inside this Boys and Girls Club, lives are being changed for the better. <laughs> on a Saturday afternoon, 21-year-old Desmond Johnson is in a safe place inside the Finish Line Boys and Girls Club, while surrounded by resources and opportunities from Employ Indy, a program that literally changed his life after simply showing up to play a game of basketball. They had asked me to come in and uh, just listen to them speak and then see if I wanted to join the program. And I had did that, and they have helped me get two job-ready badges so far. In April of this year, Johnson wasn't sure where his life was headed. After spending a year in college, he was living with his mother, but still wanting more out of life. After two weeks of mentorship with Employ Indy, that's exactly what he got. I ended up getting a job at UHS, United Hospital Services, and um, I got that through Project Yes. Johnson is one of 1,400 young men Employ Indy has connected with through its Yes Indy re-engagement program, a commitment to use basketball and reach young adults on the Far East Side who have been disconnected from work or school. If you create a space for them to gather, a place where they're welcome to come, that's aligned with something that they actually want to do, they will come. And if you put the other resources in front of them, make it readily available right there, they're more likely to take advantage of it. They know we coming up here to play basketball, so they always put the jobs near us so we can just get done playing basketball and going to go check them out. Four months after walking in to play basketball, Johnson goes home to his own apartment, paid for with his paycheck. I would probably still be living with my mom if I didn't find like a job and I didn't come in here and actually play basketball and figure out about this program. Working for you on the east side, Cameron Riddle, RTV6.